So there's been an interesting set of shifts over time. Um, one of the ones that I think you can identify with a fair amount of precision is a change that happened in the late 19th and the early 20th century. After sort of colonization and conquest of Indian people was complete, the older stereotypes of Indian savagery and violence really gave way to the much more uh, sort of placid, uh, friendly kind of stereotypes about Indians as being natural primitives. And that primitive kind of Indian um, was no longer savage, but was had all kinds of virtues that people wanted to appropriate and adopt for themselves. And so at that moment, you can see a real shift from savagery to kind of noble, you know, kind of noble savagery, um, uh, particularly in the sort of stereotypes around, around males. One of the things I think that happens at that moment is that there's a new kind of savagery, right? Um, it's no longer the savagery of being an Indian who's out on the frontier who will kill you. It's the savagery of being contaminated by modern society. Right, so at that moment, those old Indians who would scalp you at, at a moment's notice give way to a new Indian, right? A uh, new Indian savage, right? Who is the drunk in the street, right? Who has been corrupted by American society. And the positive stereotype kind of reverses, right? Uh, you know, now the positive stereotype is the Indian who has been untouched by civilization, right? Who is still pure and natural. And that carries forward for most of the 20th century. You can see it, for example, in all of the environmental kinds of things that happen, you know, uh, in sort of the post World War II period where Indians become the kind of exemplars of how one lives in a good and natural relationship with the environment. That turns into that positive stereotype.